Now I can, you know, go ahead and welcome y'all to the little video. Hey baddies, welcome back to my channel. If you already subscribed, do not subscribe. Sis, subscribe so you become a baddie today, okay? One, two, three. Hey. I am a senior this year and this is gonna be my last opportunity, I feel like. You know, this is my last year to do any type of high school video, so I'm gonna go ahead and jam them in. I'm about to go ahead and put on my um first coat of lace glue. And then we can start looking at outfits, okay? Okay. And I saw this on um, Instagram, and I thought it was so smart. Somebody used one of these to spread the glue, and I'm just like, yo, that's so smart. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Alright, so I'm about to let this little lady dry right quick and start picking out outfits. Alright, y'all, see, so I see down by my closet. Um, so the weather today is not what I want it to be. It's in the freaking 30s and stuff, and I don't like that because then I can't look as cute. But let me see if it's raining because I kind of have a cute rain day outfit. It's not. So my school typically they wear uniforms, but um, it's just on Friday, and I don't even really go there, so I'm gonna wear what I want. But I'm gonna try and abide by their rules, which is no rips, no super short skirts, and um, no crop tops. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna try and do it for y'all, you know, so the challenge or whatever. But I got y'all. Twenty minutes later. I'm not gonna show my outfit yet, cause you know y'all gotta wait for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting on this glue and the next time y'all see me, I will be applying my wig. I'm actually kind of making good time. All right, y'all can see that I actually broke my nail. Yeah, this just happened. And I know my um, nail tag is gonna be like, girl, because when I went there last time, I had two broken nails. And now I'm coming there with a broken nail and I literally just got my nails done. Y'all will have seen that if y'all watched my last video. Nail vlog, um, plus Starbucks room. Y'all need to go watch that if y'all haven't. It looks like I'm putting nothing on my face when I put this on my face, but I promise y'all, like, I actually put it on my face to just, I don't know, it don't suds up, and I actually really like my cleansers and studs up, but they don't do that. But yeah, um, it's 6.48, so I actually have a lot of time. I'm not leaving till, like, 7.10. In hindsight, probably wasn't the best idea to, um, wash my face while I got, I'm to get some glue drum, but, um, yeah, at this point, baby... I'm about to put that wig on because I need to. I still got to do baby hair, so. Yeah. Alright, so now it's time to put the wig on. So this wig is from Asteria Hair. Thank you for sponsoring a baddie. And I actually really like this hair company because, um, baby, they sent me. This is like a. I think this is the, um, Edge Wrap. Yeah, this is the wig. And. It's giving you like Jamaican man, like Jerry Curl vibes, but y'all already know. I don't know why hair companies, they be having a texture like so. Mm. Let me bring this up. Baby. Baby, baby, baby. Get my comb in so I can say what lace. What lace do you Book me for your hair, cause sweetie. What lace? What lace? Alright, so I got that side down. Now I'm about to get this side. See, so I might just press this in with my fingers and with the comb too, but I might press it in my fingers right now. And then I'm gonna get this, you know, great scarf that they sent me. I'm actually really grateful for it. I'll make sure y'all see the logo so y'all know who here this is. And Put this on it. Did I put it in my lotion yet? I don't think I did. My skin looks popping. Like, mm, yeah. My routine with curly hair is pretty simple. All I do is just wet it and put mousse on it. I'm gonna do an affection so it's more on the side. But yeah. I really need her to be drenched. There we go. Now y'all see that natural texture coming out. I 
time. So now I'm about to go and do this side. And this is 108% density. And this wig, they said it's 22 inches, but for curly hair, I feel like it's like way longer than 22 inches. So they didn't cheat me there. And this is the texture deep wave. Like I said, I'm trying to get rid of all these little ringlets and stuff. I do not want, you know, no freaking jerry curl look. Like, I cannot stand that look, y'all. It looks so old tiny. Ain't nothing wrong with your hair like that, but I just, personal preferences, I just don't like no look like that. It fell off. Alright, but it's okay because I feel like it's pretty laid. The whole reason why I'm going to the school today is um for SGA meeting. Piece is lifting, so I'm gonna have to go back and get that piece on the corner. Oof, kind of put too much over there. But yeah, so while I'm doing that, I'm about to go ahead and make my part and start hot combing. There we go, bingo. All right, so I'm about to start hot combing this just to kind of set it into place. Some pins will be cute in my hair, but I don't know. Ah, shit, I'm about to burn myself again. I don't know if they go the vibe of my outfit. I mean, I can make anything work though. I think I might put some pins in. I kind of broke one though. I have no idea why, but this side over here is like laying so flat and this one is still like not. So I'm about to get some mousse and just kind of comb through it. Cause maybe it's not like, yeah, okay. I just comb through this now, so. Now it should hopefully lay better. So now I'm about to go ahead and start pulling out baby hairs for the parts that are already laid. Obviously, I can't do it for the parts that I still have to lay down. time is it 706 so I don't have that much time left y'all so whether or not these sides is ready I just have to push them in because like I said it's 706 and I have to leave soon So I got five minutes, so I'm about to really go in a rush mode so I can make it there on time. And I know y'all telling me watching me do my edges, so I will just get to y'all when I put on my clothes. Okay. Okay, y'all. So this is my outfit of the day. So I have in my pearl hair clip. I got these from Stacks Off Fifth in store. Then I have on my snatched um slogan t-shirt. And I got this from H&M a couple years ago. Then I have on my pink Barbie jacket. Um, it's vinyl. And I got some pretty little thing. Some black skinny jeans. I think these are polo. And then I have on my triple S Balenciagas, which I got from um sacks online for a really good sale and yeah this is my outfit all i have on is my pandora bracelet for jewelry today and it's really cute it's super baddie vibes it was super hard trying to come up with a cute outfit that like was still super baddie but still followed dress code but i think this is it i really like this vibe and yeah say hey y'all need my hair done
Why the fuck you lying? I know you don't. You got yes, I, hair. Girl, no. I'm gonna do a bun. <laughs> See, I can't do a bun. I don't got enough hair for that. Uh, looking good. No, it's time for me to cut. Carry me out and get me right. Give me my phone, y'all. Somebody get shot. Oh, yeah, I'm about to do it. I'm about to get her right, y'all. I'm gonna say something on this camera. <laughs> you look so scared. I'm so confused, y'all. Oh, my God. I listen to some birds. Like so, you're still crazy. <laughs> Oh my God. I like how you get you get to sleep. That's how I want it. I want it to be like slick down with the bobby pin. Not bobby pins, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put the bobby pin right here though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wanted it to be like sleek and I couldn't get it that way. I don't know if you like that right there. I do. Okay, do the other side just like that. Oh, you, oh, you got to like it to the sink or something? She can't even out of class so she could text. I don't know who she is. <laughs> Call people on the phone. I'm gonna tell. <laughs> the tea is piping hot. Yes, see now. Got me right. Ooh, oh my God! Carrie's so clever. For real, Carrie, you get me right. I want, mean, <laughs> girl. I kind of want this hair now. This is really pretty. Both skinny. Yeah. Both of us skinny. I think we both the same size. Listen, I have no butt. Like, my butt look like this, and I'm not even. Yours look better. Like, that was what? Look at this. Look at this. Bitch, where? Oh, kind of all the way up there. That fake Montclair jacket. Man, you warm. Ooh, Tommy here for that. That actually is cute, actually. Say hey to my vlog, Brandon. We was just talking about your skin good and you got a bump. Why would you do that? <laughs> I take it back. Your skin not good. Boy, if you don't get. Oh, shut up, shut up. Yeah. Okay, shut up. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Are right, you ready for your game today? Brandon. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck, nigga. Okay, nigga. Who you texting on that phone? Repeat that last order, please. <laughs> drive around for your wow. How much? She said drive around for your tour. It about to be like 50 something. You think 50? Mm. Oh, look at that little Camaro. Where? Right in front of us. Oh. <laughs> she about weird. Oh, they got an RS too. So what you got? I don't got I don't got an RS. I got an SS now. Two SS now. Yeah, this is get ready with me. High school vlog, even though I don't go to high school. Y'all missing my eyebrows. Cause they just got to see your eyebrows in it. Yeah, girl. Right. Like, girl Billy Jean. Billy Jean is not my lover. It's probably 39. Let's see who's gonna be right back. That's not bad at all. What is it? 3012, that ain't bad for all that stuff I ordered. Let's be real here. I got like five. I bought food for a lot of people. A lot of teacher, Quincy, Brandon. Carry you, but me and Brandon gonna split that tender because um, he ain't something he wants. Hey, hey, bubbles, I wasn't going to make you pay for my No, I'm just saying, why would I pay for some people's stuff and not other people's stuff? Oh, Lord. Who got so generous? Mine's got no ass. So generous. I mean, I said mine's got no ass. I mean, no ice. You ain't got ass either. Thank you. Oh. And I, oh. I'm caught too small for all of this. Oh, God. Thank you so much, who about to go in there and tell her cause um oh, this mine. I already know. Mine's coming to bed. Thank you yeah, so much. Day. You too. This way for fucking April. A bitch is ready for a sad trip. What's June? Graduation. Oh, graduation. <laughs> uh, I'm ready for a sad trip. Oh, I'm gonna go to the beach. Oh, I'm ready for a sad trip. 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 Oh, I'm ready for she got a kiss. Two hours later. Okay, y'all. I made it till 155. I cannot freaking take it, y'all. Let me tell y'all. So we go to lunch, and they got this rule about you can't have your phone, right? And when I heard they had that, I was like, yeah, I definitely cannot do no classes there because, like, I'm I'm like the type of person I be on my phone all the time. Like, I'm just always on my phone. So I'm in the cafeteria. It's fucking lunch. This teacher got the nerve to come at me by some. Are you dumb? I'm like, girl, you not really mom. Are you dumb? Like, the phone. She's gonna some. Um, put your phone up. And I'm just looking around like, who, who, who the fuck is she talking to? So me, like, I'm not one of the type of kids that like to be disrespectful to adults. But it's like she was so loud. Everybody in the cafeteria like literally looking at me. And it's like, you really had to do all of that. First of all, let me, cause I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all all the reasons why she got me fucked up. First of all, that is not the way that you talk to people. I don't think I'm better than nobody. 
in no way, shape, or form. But she don't need to talk to no student like that about some, are you dumb? That's not how you talk to people. You could have said very politely, hey, can you push your phone up? Or you know me, I push that my phone's out. Not yell at me in front of everybody, accusing me of being dumb. Two, you had me fucked up because you gonna ask me, am I dumb? But baby, I'm ranked the second highest out the entire school. So like, am I dumb? No, the fuck? Three, baby. That is a rule for students in the student handbook. I am a visitor. I don't have any classes there, so you have no jurisdiction over me. You can suspend me, but I don't do anything because I don't go to that school anyways. Like, I'm basically suspended every day because I don't ever go there. All my classes are an entirely different campus, organization, etc. So it's like, then, like, she just had me all the way messed up. I feel like I had a fourth reason why. But I can't remember it. But y'all yeah, was so fired up after that. I was talking so much trash. And like, me, I'm not like a... a I'm not a rude person, but it's like, when you try me, I go, oh. like, after that happened, I was talking about 20 minutes straight, like, just going in at her, and people might, like, I'm glad I didn't say nothing to her, because I didn't date her reputation, and I'm a good student, like, any of my teachers can sit there and say, oh, yeah, Jocelyn was a wonderful student, you know, very studious, very polite, da 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 and she's not about to mess it up for me, but it's like, oh, baby, you had me messed up, so, you know what, me being the adult that I am, because I ain't, oh, that was my fourth reason, baby, girl. 18 years old. I'm not a child no more. You can't talk to me any and every way. And I told another teacher this, and she was like, oh, so you grown now? Yes, I'm grown. As of September 11th, 2019, 7.47 a.m., I was 18 years old. So you don't got no right to be talking to me like that because in my eyes, we're on the same level. I might still be in school, but, baby, we're on the same level, okay? And not to mention, I'm not even in technically high school anymore. I'm taking straight college classes. So I'm a young adult, and you would treat me as such. You don't see, you know, other young adults talking to each other like that. They treat each other with respect. So, I might not be 22, but I'm still a young adult. Like, don't be talking to me like that, baby. Second of all, well, fifth of all, last time I checked, you don't pay for my phone bill. So, don't tell me what to do with it. Then, we at lunch. So, like, I'm not causing a disruption at lunch. You caused a disruption when you was being so loud and extra. Then, I try and go ask, like, the little secretary lady about it. I was like, I'm a visitor, I didn't have to follow these rules, etc. Et so, you know, I'm trying to talk to her about it, and I'm like, I'm keep trying to prove my point. I'm not, I'm not a student here, I'm just a visitor. There's ways to talk to people, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's, it's lunchtime. She was like, and so I'm like, after I see I wasn't getting through to her, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna leave. She gonna say under her breath about some, um, because I can't get the assistant or principal to remove you. And I, I didn't hear her the first time. So I walked back, because I, I was like, what did she just say? I walked back and I said, what did you say? And she said it. I'm like, oh, hell no. Y'all got, y'all got the audacity. First of all, I'm 5'3 and 110 pounds. I have no weapon, no knife, no gun, not no sharp pencil even on me. And y'all talking about escorting me from the premises because I have a phone and I'm using it? Not asking no goddamn detonator, none of that. Y'all really coming at me over a phone. And it's like, I didn't even cause no disruptions. What? When I was talking to her, I was trying to prove my point. So I did get, like, emotional. But I was, I never cussed at her. I never, really, like, raised my voice to her. Like, I had an attitude, but not with her. My attitude was with the lady it happened with. But it's like, for you to sit there and say that out your mouth as if I'm really causing a disturbance. And then it's like, there was no, there was nobody in the office but me and her. I'm just like, y'all really got me messed up. So, like I was saying, being the adult that I am, knowing how to handle things maturely, um, I went to the district office and I would be filing a complaint because you had me all the way fucked up and I'm not going for it. Like, no. And I do know that they're calm. Well, I'm not going to say they're calm because the lady in the office, I usually get along with her pretty well. That's why I was so, like, disappointed with her freaking you know response but you know what it's all good it's cool baby don't gotta worry about me no more but um yeah the other lady the teacher she will be getting reported and i hope that karma comes through her because you 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 really got negative energy and negative vibes and she always does that like she always picking with students but you really have something like really wrong with yourself if you do nothing but come at people like and i'm sorry like, i talked so long i talked for six minutes like i'm almost home but yeah, she's had me messed up and this is my last time bitten about it other than when I, you know, report this situation. But yeah, ew. I just had to tell y'all because it had me really, really upset. And I just want to tell y'all, so 
you know, if a situation like that happened with y'all at your high school, because I know a lot of y'all are still in high school, be mature in the moment, but you handle your business. You know, you handle it the right way. Always be respectful, but you, you know, go to the proper authorities, okay? Because don't let nobody try and play. Just be, and even if I was not 18, you have no right to talk to me like that. I hate when adults feel like, oh, because we're younger, they can talk to us any kind of way. No, you have no right to talk to me that way, ma'am. No right. Because I wouldn't even let some of my family members talk to me that way. So I'd be Sam if I let you talk to me that way. That was highly disrespectful and insulting. And it's not happening again. The crazy thing is, one of my friends was like, she did something very similar to him. And it's like, why are you doing all of that? Like, what's wrong with you? But yeah, you will be facing your consequences. And I will make sure that means you. Period. Period. But yeah. Okay, so now I'm done my little rant or story time whatever <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna call it a little story time y'all seen Karen got my hair right it was looking real real messy before that i promise y'all my hair was like poof it was so up and the crazy thing is i flat ironed my hair a lot not flat iron hot combed it a lot so much to the point where i burned myself can y'all see that little burn right there so yeah i have no idea where my hair was laying down but Karen got it nice and pretty right now so yeah i'm really grateful for her she always helps me out so much but yeah i hope y'all enjoy this get ready with me as y'all can see this is why I don't do high school. This is why I do not like my high school. And I try to refrain from going there as much as possible because it's always some BS. But, yeah, I pray for y'all that are still in high school. I know a lot of y'all schools are not as strict as mine. And I'm glad that they're not because I would hate for y'all to have to go through what I go through. But, yeah. I hope y'all enjoy this. Get ready with me. If so, make sure I get this video a thumbs up. Make sure I give it a thumbs up because I broke my nail trying to film this video for y'all. So y'all definitely gotta give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can come under my baddies. Cause if you're not one of my baddies, I know you be feeling like that when I be referring to my baddies. Like we lit over here, we cute over here, like period. Period. And baby, turn your post notifications so you will be notified next time I post another video. And leave a comment below telling me how you would have handled the situation. Cause I want to hear y'all thoughts. Like, I'm not even exaggerating to y'all, I'm really not. She literally asked me, are you dumb? Screaming at me. And like, we were like across from each other. Don't you think she could have came up to me, you know, excuse me, can you please put up your phone? But no, you come and yell at me. Like, you have no, no manners. Like, no, no respect for me at all. And it's like, I understand I'm younger than you, but that don't give you the right to disrespect me, period. Period. And on that note, bye daddies. Purple.